What's up, Cloud Life? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite chart analyst, back again, giving you the latest and greatest crypto and XRP news. And today, Cashflow Nexus got some news for you guys on the space. Uh, you guys, I appreciate you guys for loving and supporting this channel. If you are new to this channel, you like what you see in here and feel compelled to sub, hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. And let's make that XRP money, baby. Let's go. Uh, before we get into anything, I want to acknowledge Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I always acknowledge Jesus Christ before I start anything on my channel. Uh, I do have a study coming up soon about self-made people versus God-made people. So stay tuned for that study. Uh, and if you have not watched my prophetic videos, uh, go ahead and check the, you know, check in the description uh, or just go to the uh, videos and search for it. It's definitely a watch that I recommend you guys tune into and pray about it before you do. Uh, but now we're going to get into the nitty gritty looking at the market. The market is bleeding red today, but I think it's just a healthy pullback. So far, if you guys tune in and subscribe for later, I'm going to be doing a live stream later. So st uh, stay tuned for the live stream tonight at 8 p.m. Central Time. Uh, you guys, I, I really believe that the market's about to make its move, especially because uh, swell is tomorrow. So we should get some type of bullish action tomorrow. Um, that's what I'm expecting personally. So we shall see what the market holds for us. You see, Bitcoin is sitting at eleven thousand three hundred, uh, with a you know a with you know sitting at dominance of sixty percent. Always, Bitcoin runs the market as we already know, with a negative one percent drop, one point seventy four percent drop to be exact. And Ethereum is sitting at three hundred and seventy eight dollars and forty eight cents, with a negative two dollar and twenty eight percent drop. And XRP is actually doing better than both uh, combined, actually, as far as a loss. It's only 0.50% uh, uh, loss. Of, well, just went up to 0.53%. But it's still doing better than both Bitcoin and Ethereum as far as overall loss today. So that's a good sign for XRP. Now, going into news today, we have some information. Uh, Brad Garlinghouse uh, addresses his... Uh, his feelings towards, you know, uh, Ripple considering making the decision on the move to another uh, space, you know, moving to another country as far as taking their business. Now, how, you know, maybe it might be a power move. Maybe it might be a bluff to get them to do what they wish. Uh, what are you, your guys' thoughts on Brad Garlinghouse, you know, making such a claim to do such a thing? Uh, are you? Do you think he's going to go through with it or do you think he's just talking to just, you know, you know, really make them do what he wants? Or you think he's actually going to make the move and go through with it? Me personally, I think if you have watched my live stream last night, I believe Brad Garlinghouse is serious. If your business is not being, uh, you know, respected or your business is not being taken serious as a business owner myself, I would take my business el elsewhere. Uh, there's a scripture in the Bible that's pretty interesting that I could relate this to, uh, you know, when a prophet gives a word to that city uh, and no one receives him. He has to dust his feet and leave. So Ripple might dust their feet and leave at this point. So it is something to, to you know, to definitely be, you know, weary of and to watch carefully. If they do leave America, it's going to be interesting because America is going to take a hit as far as the crypto race, the blockchain technology race, the tech war that's going on between America and China. But, you know, if you know if they do not leave is america going to capitalize and you know be uh you know on top of things how we usually are so we'll see so reading what brad garlinghouse said he said lots of speculation last week as team at ripple considers some very important decision about our future i want to clarify a couple of things related to some of what i read so he has one out of five things that he said ripple is a proud u.s based company so he's pretty much establishing that we are a u.s based company and that's good for america because that's you know gives 
America that fuels the American economy. And, you know, America definitely needs to jump on board with, you know, Ripple at this point. Uh, he says Ripple abides by and supports critical laws like strong BSA AML controls that keep bad actors out of custom consumer say uh, co- consumer safe. Uh, we are not looking to evade U.S. regulations, he said. He says, however, last week, the pretty much DOJ report lists eight separate U.S. reg blo- uh, bodies, each with a different view. Crypto is, pro- is property. Crypto is a commodity. Crypto is a virtual currency. Crypto is a security, etc. Regulations shouldn't be a guessing game. So for him right there, they're just on three. Uh, he's saying that the law is pretty much difficult because all these regulations is saying there's cryptos, all these different things, you know, and there's no solid uh, foundation on what crypto actually is. So it is very interesting how Brad is handling this and the, you know, Ripple team is handling this. They're handling it like professionals, which I expect from, you know, Ripple and, uh, you know, Brad Garlinghouse, uh, you know, but at the end of the day, what is best for their business is to take it elsewhere. If the U.S. does not have a clear cut definition of what cryptocurrencies actually is and what the regulations are. So that's something that we need to be watching uh, to go on. He says to make matters worse, some U.S. regulators have already made decisions that actively favor Chinese technologies over U.S. companies. Legislations like the DCEA can bring U.S. companies to equal footing. And see, America is not helping its own people out. They're shooting it themselves in the foot by helping China. China has no good intentions for us. They're a, a uh, communist country, and we know what a communist country is. And looking at how if they ever get leadership over the world as a you know global police, that's that's going to say bad things about the future to come and what's coming ahead. So America needs to step up their game when it comes to these regulations and be on um, on top of things when it comes to this uh, tech race and this tech war that's going on. And to finish off, he said the lack of a single national regulatory framework is putting U.S. innovation and U.S. companies at a significant disadvantage. All we're asking for is a level playing field. If we need to move to another country to get that, then that's the path we have. We will have to take. And, you know, I can't really blame him. You know, I don't really think he's bluffing. I think he really means it, whether you guys agree or not. Uh it could be a flex, you know, it definitely could be a flex to, you know, get him and the Ripple team what they deserve and what they need. But if they can't come to a consensus and a agreement in what the regulations need to be as far as, you know, cryptocurrencies and XRP, then you got to take your business elsewhere to survive. So that's just common sense. That's just business. So everybody that's saying that, you know, they're bluffing, shut up. This is y'all got to look at it at the bigger picture, guys. So going on to the, the what the real meat of this uh, whole video is ab- about Bloomberg is predicting some big stuff with XRP. It says after pushing ahead of XRP, Bloomberg predicts this crypto asset will surpass Ethereum in 2021. Big words. So that's an interesting thing to say. So we're going to get right into this because I haven't even read this myself. So I'm reading this for the first time. Someone actually sent this to me in my group on Facebook. If you're not in on face, if you are on Facebook, definitely join my Facebook group um, on uh xrp is cash flow nexus xrp and crypto news so you know definitely check that out on facebook if you are on facebook you guys so it says here bloomberg intelligent commodity strategist mike mcglone says a relative crypto newcomer could surpass ethereum newcomer wow it's funny how they said newcomer but all right could surpass ethereum as the second largest crypto asset by market capitalization in 2021 so it says here tether usd usdt overtook xrp in 2020 to become the third largest crypto by market cap which is you know weird but whatever 
After Bitcoin and Ethereum, the dominant stable coin has seen, ma seen massive surges since the coronavirus related uh, market crash in March. And it currently has a cap of about 15.7 billion, according to coin market cap. Very interesting. In a new edition of the Bloomberg Crypto Outlook, Mick Glown, I hope I said his name right, Mick Glown says, he thinks that the ballooning market cap will only continue to increase. I agree with that. The rapid rise in the cap market cap of stable coins indicates that central bank digital digital currency CBDCs are a matter of time. In our view, it should take something significant to stall the increasing adoption of Tether, the top stable coin, which is on pace to match the capitalization of Ethereum in a bit less than a year, based on the regression trend since the start of 2019. Very interesting. So uh, that's, that's something to really note and to really look into. It's an ambitious prediction. Ethereum's market cap is currently hovering ab around, above, you know, around 44 billion, almost three times the size of Tether's. McGlone notes that USDT DT represents that many of the so-called cryptocurrencies aren't a stable form of payment. Interesting. He also says assets are migrating from the from the still deflated, deflating crypto bubble of 2017 towards Tether. So he's pretty much saying Tether is going to, you know, suck soon <laughs> without saying it. Additionally, the commodity strategies predicts Bitcoin is on track to breach key resistance at 14,000. And he says uh, certain metrics indicate Bitcoin could hit 100,000 by 2025. Now, I agree with the resistance at 14,000, but I don't I don't agree with the uh, prediction of 100,000 by 2025. That's you know foolishness. If Bitcoin ever hits prices like that. I really have no words for, you know, this crypto space because Bitcoin's not even a, has it does not have any good use case at all. But I think it'll just be high just because it's the first crypto and it's it's set the bar as far as cryptos. But I will guess once people start really realizing the utility is not really there with Bitcoin and that it's a energy a vampire, then they'll really, you know, change their tune on that. So we'll see. Another analyst have pointed to the to a link between Tether's growing market cap and BTC's uh, price increases. A highly cited uh, pseudonymous analyst, known in the industry as uh, whoa, I think it's Phil. I don't even know. I'm not even gonna say that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'll say Phil. Phil Phil uh, anyway says that uh, USDT's uh, 10.9 billion rise this year suggests traders are storing their capital in the dollar pegged stablecoin as they prepare to buy Bitcoin. So that's interesting. And then there's some more articles down here to read. Um, if y'all want to check out this article, I will put it in the description and it'll connect all this together. So you could definitely check it out for yourselves. But, you know, he's he's pretty much saying uh, a lot of things are going to happen for in the 2021 uh, time frame. So we'll see what happens next year as far as the crypto space goes. I still believe XRP is going to have a strong move to the upside next year as well. Uh, you know, the CBDCs are going to definitely play a role in that. And since XRP is supposed to be a stable coin, it's only a matter of time to see what it's going to actually do. So definitely stay tuned for that. And you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment and subscribe your thoughts on any topic that I talked about today. Stay tuned for the next. Tune into tonight's live stream and be blessed in Jesus name. All right. God bless you guys and peace.